Obviously, a weekend off from league action was uh, brilliant to get a game against against Hitchin. So we thank them for taking the game last minute. Obviously, Rushton had been cancelled, and a really good good exercise for us. Uh, spent a lot of time chasing the ball. Very, very good side. So I know Mark Burke really well, and yeah, you can never quite replicate that same intensity in terms of a league game. But where we did it to try and stay fit and stay sharp, um, turned out that actually most of the games in our league were cancelled on the day, which was. Good. So hopefully that little bit of sharpness from last Saturday will continue into what's going to be a really busy week coming ahead for us. So at the moment we're in a really fortunate position and I say it with a little bit of hesitancy because uh, especially with everything going on now. Um, but ahead of training tonight we are uh, fully fit um, by Kelvin. Kelvin's the only one that's likely to miss out on Saturday. Uh, but at the moment we've got a fully fit squad to choose from which is great. Uh, got a nice depth in a lot of positions now, which is, uh, is brilliant for us, especially going into a three-game week next week. Um, and just really looking forward to getting out on the training ground for the players tonight and hopefully being in a position we can prepare right and get ready for uh, what's going to be a really tough game on Saturday. So we, uh, we obviously played them in October. I think it was our second game in charge. Um, and on a, the game, unfortunately, we got beat 2-0 on the night. But I think from our perspective, you know, we felt a little bit hard done by. But a lot has changed since then in both groups. Uh, I know Steve Bateman well, both my brothers played for him and he's doing a, a great job over there. Got a, a really good squad together um, and we're really expecting a real tough game. We, we, every game at this level we feel like at the moment, I wish we had a, the odd game which was a bit easier, but they seem to come thick and fast. Uh, like ourselves, Ailes been on good form. Um, they've got a couple of RX players there, uh, Chris Stapleton and Roy Byron. Um, who've gone there and, and done well for them. So we know uh, the threats that we face. Uh, we'll prepare as well as we can do, the same as we do every single week, and hopefully bring home uh, a much needed three points. Yeah, obviously a big one on, uh, on Tuesday, a club that I've had a huge affinity with and had, had the fortune of working with for a, a long, long time. So a lot of friends come in here, but I reiterate the message when the game starts. Uh, there are no friends in football, unfortunately. You know, our aim is to, to give a good account of ourselves and ultimately win the game. Um, so it'll be a, be a tough fixture for us. We know that. We, we don't know the, the depth or what age group they'll be putting out, whether it'll be senior players or, or a 23 side. But what we do know is anybody within that system um, is going to be a tough opposition for us. So I don't ever look too far ahead, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, Tuesday, as much as we're excited for a good crowd and what will be a real tough fixture for us, my focus solely at the moment is purely on Saturday and making sure that uh, we prepare properly and go into a real tough game at Aylesbury. Um, so, fingers crossed, everything goes well with our prep. We've still got a fully fit squad and we can look forward to the game and uh, what will be a, a real tough challenge for us.